Hi there, my name is Susan Leahy and you deserve to feel good. I am excited to share this quick tip about how to feel good as a woman who wants to feel empowered and confident. However, there are four things that women tend to do that really strip them of their power, both in the workplace and within relationships. So tendency number one, Women tend to smile too much. Ha <laughs> ha! Now there's nothing wrong with your smile. However, when you overuse it, it can really take your power away. I remember one day uh, when I was back in my master's, uh, my professor asked me to sit in front of a, a, with a woman and talk about something I was really upset about. And the whole time I was talking to her, I had a smile on my face and the professor said something to me that profoundly changed my point of view. He said, Susan, if you're so angry, why are you smiling? And what was so fascinating is that I didn't even know I had a smile on my face. And the only thing that I could say is, because I've got big teeth. <laughs> so after everyone stopped laughing, I got to really understand that that woman didn't take my anger seriously because I had a really big smile on my face. So I want you to understand that maybe you're losing some of your power in conversations both in work and relationships because you're overusing or you have a tendency to over smile. So the next tendency is that women tend to stand asymmetrical. So if I'm, in a, if I'm in a situation that I'm uncomfortable, I will kind of make my body asymmetrical, whereas opposed to men will actually make their bodies completely symmetrical, taking up and filling up the space. And so when I stand asymmetrically, I cross my arms in front of my, my body or I actually cross my legs, I'm making myself look smaller. Now, again, uh, I think that we, we strike this asymmetrical pose for the same reason that we smile too much. It's because we're feeling insecure or we're not feeling safe in the environment that we're in. And so I need to catch my body and really level out those shoulders, stand square over my hips, um, and stand more symmetrical, especially when I'm taking a stand and I'm thinking that I'm delivering some important information. Um, the next tendency is that women have a tendency to drop their tone or to soften their tone at the end of a sentence. And so sometimes we'll be talking and then all of a sudden, so this is what I think you should do. And so we get quieter at the end of our sentence, which really just dilutes our power. It just kind of takes the power out of the conversation. So I want you to pay attention to how you end your sentences. Because another tendency, besides getting quiet, is that women will have the tendency to sometimes end their sentences with an upsweep in the tone, which is an indication in the English language of a question. So many times women will be making a statement, but it's interpreted in their tone as a question. Because we're saying, don't you think this is important? And I think this is really important. And we are upsweeping the tone, which is uh, confusing the audience because the audience is actually hearing that statement as a question rather than hearing it as a statement or an opinion or a perception that you individually hold. So I think that all of these are really important to think about because as women, we are powerful. But many, many times we disempower ourselves in conversation, both at work and relationship, because we're over smiling, we're standing in a way that is asymmetrical, that drops our power out, we're losing our tone at the end of a sentence, or we're ending the end of our sentence in a question. All of these things confuse the listener. And so when you can have more control over your body and the way that you are really owning the space that you're in, then all of a sudden you can step more fully into your power. And you know what? Your power, it feels good. And you deserve to feel good. Again, this is Susan Leahy, and thank you for taking the time.